Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be going over what you need to know about choosing the right Firewire card for your system. This may seem pretty straightforward, but in general, Firewire is very finicky and uh, you're going to run into problems if you don't go with the right components. Uh, so the most important thing is choosing a Firewire card that has a Texas Instruments chipset. It's very important. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll just type in Firewire Texas Instrument uh, chipset. Uh, we'll come up with a PDF here from Presonus. We'll click on that. And uh, you'll notice that they'll have like an approved uh, chipset vendor kind of thing going on here. Uh, but if you go down, it's quite alarming. What's this one? Yeah. Um, you'll notice that uh, chipsets from these manufacturers, different manufacturers that are not Texas Instruments, you'll notice that they tested them and it says this chipset drops data packets resulting in devices being unable to sync, uh, play, or record audio properly. So you get data packet like dropouts basically. And for audio, that's very detrimental. Um, and there's quite a bit here. So to avoid headaches, go with the Texas Instruments. Um, also, Motu uh, highly, highly, highly and strictly recommends using uh, uh, cards based on the Texas Instruments chipset. So that's all well and good. Um, so one thing you need to kind of burn into your mind is this little Texas logo. So what you're doing is you're looking for that because uh, most of the time, if you go on Amazon or Newegg or whatever, um, you'll notice that they don't actually say in the title and then you'll click on it. And you'll say, okay, so what does it kind of do it doesn't say and you can't look at that so this one is something you don't want to kind of mess with here so you'll click on this you'll say the VT6305 uh, chipset that's obviously not uh, TI Texas Instruments and a lot of these uh, stores they have high-res images so you want to kind of investigate and you'll notice right there that chip it says via via chips are garbage they're poor um, for this sort of thing right and uh, yeah you'll see it right there even though uh, this manufacturer uh, Saiba um, I have one and it's a uh, pretty good quality um, like in the previous video you have to make sure that um, you're ordering the right card PCI and PCI Express are very different right so what you can do is check out this one um, so you have to do a bit of homework. Oh, yeah, they don't offer high res. Oh, they do too. See, that's VIA once again. That black chip right there says VIA on it. Also, the capacitors, um, they that little black pokey outy thing, not good. Um, in my opinion, uh, audio requires good quality components. So, what you can do is you just go Firewire uh, TI. And you go, oh, look at this one. So that's not that much more expensive, uh, 40 bucks. This is the one that I have, right? I purchased that on March. Did I purchase that on March? March, April. Wow. And one day shipping too. So you'll do some investigative journalism. So kind of click on this guy. And you'll notice right there, you see the little Texas uh, Instruments logo on there. There it is again. And uh, yeah, it says there, but it's always good to verify. You'll also see high quality capacitors. And I actually have this card and um, yeah, we're gonna take a look at, uh, look at it as well. You'll notice that there's two different kinds of ports. There's a 1394, 1394 is just another name for uh, Texas Instrument, or 1394 is another name for Firewire. There's the A and the B um, one. Uh, they are backwards compatible, uh, but nine times out of ten, you're going to be using the A connector, which is the one on the left, uh, this one right here. And uh, yeah, that's what I have, and it works quite well. So yeah, make sure and like kind of do your homework. And yeah, you want to look at this one. That one has it as well, but also it's using kind of poor capacitors. You know, this one isn't using uh, kind of good capacitors. Uh, capacitors are important. Uh, and if the capacitors are good, uh, namely uh, Nichicon, you know that they source their uh, their components correctly. And if they source their components correctly, uh, you won't have to worry about, oh, is this chip counterfeit? Is anything kind of, you know, derpy? It's not good. 
Um, and yeah, they aren't that much expensive than, you know, the cheaper ones to get a high quality one. Um, this is the one that I have once again. And uh, uh, generally, if you're spending like $500 on a sound card, you or a, a, an audio interface, then, you know, it doesn't hurt to spend a, a, a little bit more to have something that's, you know, solid and that's not going to fail on you. So here's what my card looks like. I mean, you can get the same one that I have if you want. Um, I've tested it and it works quite well. You'll notice that I have an A port and two B ports. And I chose this card because of its build quality and because of the Texas Instruments chip that you see right there. I would suggest staying away from eBay uh, and just sticking with Amazon or Newegg or any kind of trusted, legit uh, supplier. The reason being is that there's counterfeits floating around and you want to get it from a reputable source. And there you can see the uh, high quality uh, Japanese capacitors and service mount on a black PCB. And that just means uh, quality and less headaches. I hope this video was informative and it helped you uh, pick the right one. Uh, yeah, again, make sure that it's Texas Instruments based, TI, the chipset, very important. All right, guys, take care and have a good one.